Well, I may, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, good. Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today I wanted to do a brief video to answer a comment, which is really a question. What I have found is that whenever people make comments on social media, they're actually asking a question. And um, uh, I had made a comment about the weight of a rifle being a big issue. And of course, the ignorant comment that was made was, you need to work out more. Okay, whatever, I work out six days a week. Working out isn't the problem. It is wearing a rifle for a protracted period of time and what that weight will do to you. Because in the tactical toddler world, though it's about the rifle and maybe a camelback with some water. But if you're talking about wearing a rifle for a protracted period of time with all the other crap that you would have to have on your back, that changes everything. And so you want to have a base weight of a rifle as light as you can possibly have. Now this is my 13.7 drilled pin and welded, um, which is legal to cross state lines. And even though I'm an FFL SOT and I can go anywhere I want with whatever I want, I try to minimize the hubbub that I might find myself in by having a 16 inch legal rifle for crossing state lines. And uh, not to mention this rifle is very capable. It can really reach out and smack stuff. So um, this rifle, the cool thing about it is it starts off in the six, six ish pound range and fully dressed out. It's still well under eight pounds. And that's with a very honking big Surefire X300 UB 1000 lumen light, Daniel Defense fixed sights, Daniel Defense rock and lock with an 8.21. Uh, rail panels, handguard panels, uh, tier 1 Citizen 2PS, Magpul furniture. Because it is such an agile rifle, I know that I can maneuver in very tight spots with it and not worry about giving up mobility. As you saw evidenced by this drill that I've been working on here, where this is simulating, call it whatever you want. This could be a vehicle, this could be another wall, this could be a vehicle. It's, it's irrelevant. The point is, you have an extremely tight area to maneuver in. And if you've got to get your... And if you've got to get your shots, if you have to get your shot off here, you can't even be making contact with your shoulder because if I'm making contact with my shoulder, my muzzle is hitting. So I actually have to come off of my shoulder and I have to know that I have, that I have not violated this line with my body. Otherwise, the bad guy sees me coming. So for here, I have to be completely off of my shoulder and I have to have the rifle roughly positioned where I know it's going to come in contact, where, where I'm going to need it to come in contact with my shoulder. My right leg, my support side leg, has to act as ballast because I'm about to throw myself out here. I also have to be cognizant of what's downrange. I intentionally have targets downrange that are going to be in a visual sight line. If I get too far out right now, in fact, let me see if I can, if I can do it for you. You hear the hit? That shot went through that guy's face and hit that target down range in the face. Those targets down there simulate a person who might accidentally be uh, in the line of sight past this guy should this bullet go through him or should I just yank the shot and miss. I don't want to hit anybody down range. So I have intentionally positioned targets visually in the way down range. And it makes me remind myself that I don't get to work this drill as fast as I want. I have to work it properly. So once again, the lightness of this rifle and the length of this rifle allows me to come out, find my shot, take my hits, check my corner, and then come back if I need to. A lot of what happens when you do this with a rifle, because especially from this, I have no choice but to throw it out in front of me and then come to it. This is, this is this. Out, back. As opposed to this, which is far faster, but this requires contact with the shoulder to get my shot and I can't because here I'm having to operate like this. So the weight of your rifle in this type of an environment really matters. And these are those little slices of truth that you may not know about. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys as much knowledge as fast as I can because there's trouble coming and you better learn how to, how to work with your rifle. And on that note, I've got some really good news 
that is that's coming down the line. As you guys have heard me say before, I'm trying to give you as much knowledge in the most concise package and as quickly as possible. Because, folks, there's trouble coming to America. And if you don't know what you're doing with your firearms, you're in trouble. You're not a, you're not a help. You're a detriment. Um, last night, <clears throat> this is so exciting for me because I went to bed excited and I woke up excited. I had a conversation last night with my friend Shane Kerwin. And um, Shane is a man that I trained with many years ago. And he was still in Special Forces at the time. And the last time I saw him was at this class with Dave Spaulding. Right, brother, he was ready? just in the... In Here we the, go in the, um, I think the term is processing out. He was just entering that window of processing out of the teams. And uh, I, through a mutual friend last night, we reconnected and I said to him, I am so excited to see you finally have your company up and running. And I really, really, really wanna come out and cover some of your classes. Now guys, I can tell you right now, without equivocation, sign up. You don't even have to wait for a review from me. I saw that he has his training company up and running. I've already chosen a couple classes that I'm going to be going to, to cover and do some videos for you guys. And man, I am so stoked. I just can't even tell you. Um, please sign up for classes because Shane Kerwin is the guy who can teach you about tactical, medical, vehicle, comms, uh, land nav. I mean, the guy, he's a, he's a, Former Special Forces Operator Medic that's been there and done that for a long time. And I am so thrilled to, to be able to share this information with you guys. Um, so anyways, um, his website is linked here and I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And once again, I want to thank you guys for your support of buying slings. And for those of you that, that purchased either 13.7 rifles or 13.7 uppers, I thank you for your business. I thank you for your support because you're keeping food on my family's table. And like, literally it's that. Um, so thank you. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.